Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Double Exposure. Where last time we ended the episode when we found an intruder in our home in our home and that intruder turned out to be another Max. So we chased her, we followed her, but when we rescued her from the ice, she suddenly turned into Safi. So, no idea what that's about, but uh, let's find out together. And of course, we need to select some clothing. Oh, actually, this one is pretty nice for once. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> You know, they're all pretty decent. Yeah, why not? Chapter 4, dip, dip ditch, dip ditch, dip ditch, dip dike. No idea how to pronounce that. Looks very nice though, the snow. Decently realistic. water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um, be right back. All right. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. And might be good to see if Iris has calmed down some. Straight into it where we left off last time. Safi's so poised. If she's feeling anything like I am, I sure can't tell. Right. Uh, what's with the phone? A question for the ages. Uh, notes. Safi. Shapeshifter. What the fuck? Safi is a shapeshifter and I am not the only person with powers. Safi can turn into anyone it seems. This answers a lot of my questions about that double ganger itis. Hey, weren't you gonna get changed? I was. Right. Yes. Sorry, just guess I could only hide my past for so long before Sophie took matters into her own hands. Is it still destruction of property if what you're tossing around are the books you lent me? Okay. So the person was Sophie, and she can shapeshift, which is cool. But Come on, what? Sophie. I would have thought you had more respect for art. What was she doing here in our house? What was she looking for? Sophie bought me that frame. And then she broke it. This is so complicated. I don't know where we stand. Because she must have been looking for something. I liked it better when Sophie and I broke into places together. Oh, don't worry, Safi. I will. Okay. Yeah, she was obviously looking for something. I've kept plenty of secrets from Safi as well.
Oh, okay. Okay. More cluster. Ready. Okay, um... God, that smells amazing. I haven't had pancakes in a million years. Johnny cakes, actually. I used to skip school sometimes and make them with my grandma. And they're made with real Johnny? <laughs> you are so annoying. No, they are not. And they go best with mulberry jam. Oh no. I've only got grape. Then I guess you'll have to make it up to me. Alternate Max's life seems so uncomplicated. Unless that's also a shape shifted Sophie. <laughs> nah. On this side, the memories are shut up where they belong. Yeah, I'm still not. I'm still not sure what the hell, what is going on. You do not know the bullet you dodged last night. Uh, don't think we need to do anything in here. I think these points are just always there in this level. There's also one up here, right? Yeah. All right, so. I just need some dry clothes. Okay, this again, we just did it. What was the point of doing it before the episode started then? I actually like this one better. I have so much I want to ask Sophie about. I don't even know where to start. Glad you're down from the fridge. Iris, let's immortalize the moment. Can I see their belly? Okay. Cool. Nothing but blackness. And a pair of eyes. Do you want to come out and meet a new friend? Oh. Come on. She's chill. I mean, she can inexplicably manipulate reality, but so can I. Weird world we live in. Okay, I understand. I'm not great around strangers either. Maybe next time. Have we been through enough together? Can I get a high five? <gasps> She likes us. I'm not a cat person, but if I were to get a cat, it would be a black cat. <laughs> Heavy petting. Pet the cat. Achievement unlocked. Wow. Okay. Um, anything else we can do? He even was upstairs, knocked over the light. Nothing else to do here. Right, go confront Safi. 
wait. Uh, oh, wrong button. Do we have collectibles? All right, we we already found the one for this scene. So bothered that I missed that one. Anyway, I moved my evidence box to this timeline to avoid Alderman, but never thought I'd have to keep it from Sophie too. Wait, you moved stuff between timelines? We are in the dead world, are we not? No, we are in the living world. Wait, what? I have so many questions for Safi. I'm confused. Let's just talk to her, see what this is all about. So... You're what happened a shapeshifter. On the you have You've powers? got powers? Here, person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Ah, huh. clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. How exactly do you shape shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it, Hmm. Wow. So it's not really shape shifting, but yep. more. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? <laughs> Ice powers and musical numbers? No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... Alright, alright. So... It's not so much shape-shifting. It is manipulating how somebody sees you so it's manip manipulating their brain i guess so could you change forms in front of a group if that's the case because what if it doesn't work on some and it does work on others or maybe because she said i can sense the part of the brain that sees me so it's different for each person Maybe I'm, I'm overthinking this. Um, so yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, we changed the eyes. Yeah, you're dead. Come on, I'm playing with a controller. Stupid game. You're dead. Okay. I'm gonna. Need a moment with that one. This you? Were you gonna say something? Sorry. Hmm. 
At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. We only get one question? Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. You're scratching the table. How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. Yeah. That was a okay. project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. God, I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me magically instead of Struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. Okay, kind of like Max. My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You really <laughs> wipe privilege into all the cool powers? <laughs> You'd think so. But rewinding was... too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh. The things I would undo... The bad sex, I would unhave the amazing sex, I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. You were Amanda. You were Amanda in the in the cafe. You were Gwen, dealing drugs. You were Lucas, talking to his son. Oh my god, what the hell have you all been doing? That was you, impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Maybe Not it like is actual shape-shifting. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was cancelled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. 
to see what you were hiding. Looking for evidence. Okay. Makes a little sense. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Seriously, well, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. Thought I couldn't trust you anymore. You've got my number too, but you know. Actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <laughs> I have the feeling there has to be some music <sighs> in this scene again. Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Because he wasn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. Amanda? Yeah, you were Amanda, too. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was self-defense. We can forget about this time, but can you not do that again? It's... Amanda. Yeah, okay. Fair. <laughs> um... Is she going to be mad if I ask about the other two? Don't think so. So... That was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm... If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him? Yeah, it was him. Guess he's still not over me. Both romantic and... Oddly dark. There's a reason Vin's a drama major. I like a good dark fantasy. Or a dark romance. Yeah. You know, I hung out with Vin last night. We, um... In the interest of being honest? We kind of made out. Oh! Max Caulfield! You dog! <laughs> well, the Vin from the other timeline. The one without you. Still counts. I guess I should let you ask me something now. Alright, so... You used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What... what changed? Time. You know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died. Shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom. All alone. All alone except for me. The one person who could have helped her stuck powerless behind the stall a few feet away. You tried to help her. Shit, Max. 
I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself for... I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town? Or save her? I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. Yeah, makes sense. Awfully quiet, isn't it? By the I way, feel like there should be music. Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. That would be nice, yeah. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. Or? God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> ah. My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Calmanero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book? Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Right? I'm hazing now the what? connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Ben, your revenge tour. Okay. Hey. My justice tour. Ooh. Safi. What if... What if 
that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. <laughs> I don't understand how you can be so chill about the this. The detective's gun fell. I don't understand how fell. you can be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? Yes, because, um, because we, the, the, the detective got annihilated at the place where Safi died. Uh, but before he disappeared, we saw his gun fall. I didn't notice it at the time when I was playing the game, but I did notice it in the edit afterwards. There is a little, not a lot, there is a little emphasis on him letting go of the gun and it falling to the ground before he disappears. So... I'm betting that the gun is still there and that that is the gun that Max uses to kill Safi. And I am betting that at the end of next episode, we are either choosing to shoot, shoot Safi or don't shoot her. That's going to be the choice at the end, I think. But yeah, I think I am capable of that. Well then, let's make sure you don't have to. But Sophie, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Undo the damage. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. There's more than the one publisher, is... you know. You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <laughs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. I would have started with undoing some of the damage you did, at least to Lucas' son. I'm here at Krampus, but shit. I'm still reeling. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she yeah, wants see? them to see. It's not real physical shape-shifting. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. A cool shot. Scream, not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's not really giving me the cheery holiday feels that I expect this time of year. Why not? The guy with the tongue carries a bag. Just like Santa. 
Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. Spend all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. I can't promise, but you have me, other Moses, and two powers between us. That's a lot in our favor. It's kind of bullshit it takes that much to tell the truth. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do, but I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. All right. Party. <laughs> All right. Not sure Operation if I. Expose Lucas is a go. Not sure if I agree with this plan. I mean, I agree that Lucas should be that Lucas should be exposed. He plagiarized the student, and that student later killed herself. I mean, even if he didn't kill her himself, he is still he still had a part in it. So there needs to be consequences for those actions, and especially the plagiarism, which is actually a crime. Um. I, I don't really agree with all the things that Safi has Let's done. Let's see if Reggie's got the right stuff for the job. Getting Gwen fired because she got cold feet? Getting Lucas' son estranged from him? No, that, those are not cool. Um, yeah, anyway. Let's go, well, let's start with all our messages. So the main objectives, talk to Reggie and talk to Gwen. It is December 8th at the moment. We have a new journal entry. Let's read that real quick. December 7th, what am I saying? Of course you'd believe everything Safi just told me. You wouldn't get so hung up on questions of why and how the way I do. You just come up with silly ideas for people Safi could become, and after a few minutes, you'd have Safi and me rolling on the floor with laughter. You'd get her to transform into Victoria, or your mom, or, Prin or Principal Wells. It feels funny to say I'm relieved. I mean, we nearly drowned in the lake, but I thought I'd lost this Safi too. That I'd done something that hurt her so bad, she would never talk to me again. And then my last, best chance to help her, to help anyone, anyone would be gone. Turns out I didn't understand Safi, at all, and she didn't understand me, but we fixed that pretty quick. It's not hard when you're both fucked up the way we are. Okay, crosstalk, Gwen. Sorry, Gwen. I'll probably have to bother you anyway. I'm officially unemployed, we'll be accepting drinks if you want to buy, but not idle chatter. Okay, so she was fired. Loretta... Check out the newest episode of Get a Clue. Yeah, sure. Reggie. It's Krampus. Shots, shots, shots. Heavy is the head that wears the Krampus horns. This mask stinks. Like, it literally smells bad. <laughs> okay, 67 likes on our cat pick. Someone's up during the catting hours. Isn't it laid out there? Go to sleep, honey. What? Who's Ryan? And Finn. Okay. 
All right. Uh, anything else? Anything to collect? Okay, yeah, two things to collect. The turtle corner booth and the turtle back patio. Oh, we can finally go outside. All right, let's start with hey. looking around. One time, no. Classy. One more beanie and this thing's a goner. Guest of dishonor, if I have anything to do with it. A Krampus in the wild. It bit him better. Say cheese, Krampus. Now that is a freaky photo. Lenus Venter, non spidet libenter? No clue. Okay, come on. I hope Sophie can convince Vin to help us. It's beginning to look a lot like Krampus. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. Yo, what's got you Yeah, no, I should change the framing. Ah, photo spot. This is for days to tell. There. Yeah. This works much better. Alright, uh, we look at Vin. We'll save Reggie for last. So, this is the projector. Looks expensive. Yeah, we'll save Reggie for last. Taking a new weapon. <laughs> oh, shit! She better be making a fortune in tips. I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. Okay, okay, okay. I'd love getting any one of these. Snapping Turtle Staff Best Gift Racks. Wish You Were Here International Beer Clubs. Shady? Brewmaster? Brewmaster. The Everyday All in One Nonstick Pan, Teddy Cook. Money, Amanda, Bartender. Truffle Oil Set. What the hell was that screaming? You're a superb artist. Why would you want to do that? This Moses isn't in on the plan. Hey guys. Max. Hey. Uh, cool. Not to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. I'm gonna check out more of the party. See you guys. Still need to talk to Gwen. Roll for charisma. Roll for charisma. Sorry, Amanda. This place is gonna be a mess by the end of the night. Uh, can I go out? Maybe Loretta turned up something that'll explain my unexpected house guest? Cat snatch fever? 
gone go to the patio. There's so much to do tonight. Grab a gingerbread house and post yours on social on our socials. Drop off a gift for white elephant. Watch out for the Krampus tail. This year's turkey for the Krampus roast is Lucas Calmanero. Okay. Energy drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? Yeah, right? Exactly. How are the discussions about our issues on campus going so far? Now I'll wait with you as well. Let's go to the other timeline real quick. Amanda, I know Krampus is cancelled, but can you all do me a favor and make some gingerbread houses so we don't have to put like a hundred of them in the trash? Okay, cool. No holiday flight for me. Hungover and the hot water is out again. <laughs> okay. Moses insisted on being here tonight to support us, even though he won't see any of it. Hey, Moses. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life, which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but... Krampus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yeah. I'm making the slideshow happen, and Safi's working on Vin. Cool. Let me know if I can help. Somehow. For sure. Turtle Corner Booth, December 8th, Corner Booth. I don't think these are Corner Booth. It's not you, it's me. I just... That's adorable. Oh, I told you, after Safi died, I realized there's so much more I could do with my art to help others. Do... I guess Lakeport will have to find another bar to wet their whistle. Closed until January 1st. Just one. Hate it when that happens. Okay, we can't go to the patio. I used to love this game. Not exactly the right age group for this crowd. Age is three and up. <laughs> yeah, we can't go to the back patio, so I'm guessing I was going to that Whoa, we'll find cool. the pictures later. Wonder if Diamond's making another film. Guess no one was up for going out tonight. College students love to barter. Oh, no, here is a corner booth. Move over, quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him. Um, why? He told me he wanted a selfie. I'd ask Mr. Krampus for another photo, but... We've got more important things to worry about right now. I still think there is a third timeline going on. Amanda is not as busy here. Ready for the school year to be over? Damn. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. Okay. Uh, still can go to the back patio. Right. Time to go talk to some people.
All right, let's start with Gwen. Where was Gwen again? She was over here, wasn't she? Yeah. There she is. It's good to see Gwen here, in spite of everything. Hey, just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah, you were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired in anyway. Safi's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Gwen. I'm so sorry. So, is... Is that what you came over here for? No. Sophie Actually... Has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized how much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. Forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it. I'm in. Thank yeah, you, fuck it. Really? So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. <laughs> Safi's as subtle as a flying brick. Come to Krampus tonight. I give you my Safi guarantee it's worth it. Don't Trust miss... me, Lucas. We're gonna roast you until only ashes are left. Don't miss your chance to throw tomatoes at yours truly at tonight's Krampus roast. Metaphorically, metaphorical vegetables only, please. Reggie looks nervous already. He might. Hey, Reggie, you manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if Olga. someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Helping us pull a prank on someone. We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I... I would, um... I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh... Just <clears throat> testing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Caledon must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it, Okay. But how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? Ask that Moses for help. That world, Moses. What's with all these posts, man? Whoever successfully beats me at Mana Massive at campus tonight, Krampus tonight gets an A on their final. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Great, so we're going to work that. Okay. Go talk to that world, Moses. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into this. No, this is why I hate social media. Every fucking five seconds, something to look at. What's up? We require Mosai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking, if something went wrong with it... So it's gotta go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. You know which projector it is? Reggie called it... Olga? Olga can be... particular. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. 
better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. Yasmin. Um... What did we all read? I forgot. They really should put dates on this. At least in the other games, the new messages blinked. Uh, hello, Maxine. I wanted to say I appreciate the friendship you and Moses had with Safia. Even though she ended her life in the manner she did, you both made the life she did have as special as it was brief. Good evening, Maxine. I hope you're doing well. I was going to call, but it's still difficult to say the words aloud. I know you and I aren't particularly close, but I did want to extend my time to you if you want to talk about anything I'm here. Sophia did so enjoy the Krampus event that was held every year and would have loved to attend if not for. I'm sorry to bother you, I don't really have anyone else to talk to. Wow, that's sad. You don't need to apologize, Yasmin, and thank you. I'll try to reach out soon. Okay, cool. Is there a projector here as well? well probably not. All right, uh, back to the other side we go. Moses is waiting for me. I should probably head over to the projector. Need to make sure Moses is running this for the roast. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Alright, hey Diamond, hate to interrupt your game with Moses, but any chance you could distract Reggie via text for like one minute for me? What do I get out of it? A gold star sticker on your next paper? Bet, but I'm holding you to that. There's two ways I know for sure will work, neither of which is going to be fun for our guy. Reggie is never not stressing about his grades, so if there's an assignment he's missed, he'll start sweating over that. Regic also, Reggie's also never not stressed over Vin. Those two are bad for each other, and to hear him tell it, they got it bad for each other. They got it bad for each other. So, it's up to you how you want to play it. Yeah, do Vin. Mention Vin. But remember, I want to distract Reggie, not destroy him. He's my friend, Max. I can strike a delicate balance. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. Maybe Reggie did see her. Did she have talked to him? Okay, how long did that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. Okay. You mean there are more controls? You mean there are more controls? You're kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to me. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. So far, so good. What's my next step? The focus is set to manual. That should be good to go. Shouldn't take too long, right? Clip one switch. Yeah. 
Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Moses didn't say anything about changing the lamp. Oh, oh that's the focus dial. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. Probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Not sure how tilting it would help. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Uh, what is happening? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, ask Living World Moses for help. Let's first tell Dead World and Moses that it worked. Let me know if it works. Ah. Damn, so much damn crosstalk. I'm Hate it. Really hate it. Uh, ask Moses. This one first, then you can play that one. And then a red card, right? You got it. Hey again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining the school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Ain't she? Sure. Duty calls. He didn't move her mouth. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Think about what's best for all. No offense, Reggie. Oh, I'm taken. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> Awkward. You're being all maxi. <laughs> What's afoot? Me and Safi are hijacking the rose tonight. Need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. You'll see. All right. I trust you. That's a mistake, probably. <laughs> I should talk to the other Moses. That would have distracted me too. Uh, hey Max, hate to put Reggie on the spot, but a while back he shared with me some tasteful nudes. He shot a thin diamond. I honestly, I honestly thought they'd make a great entry for his final. I showed you these in confidence diamond. They're not for display or for finals. Photo class. 
Cool. Yeah, let's go talk to other world Moses. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. Oh, no. I wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Hello and welcome to Get a Clue with Loretta Rice, the only homegrown Lakeport true crime podcast. This week we're talking about a series of break-ins that culminated in a cat napping. If you're a Lakeport local, you'll remember Jackie and her cat. Their collaboration won last year's Local Artist Showcase Award when the little furball walked across Jackie's still wet canvas. We'll throw Jackie's contact info into the show notes, so get in touch if you know anything. Now. Moving on. Man, has Iris been a distinguished artist this whole time? Let me shoot Jackie a message before tonight gets any more out of control. Jackie! Hi, sorry to bother you, but my name's Max. I work at Caledon. You the lead in of Caledon? I still don't know. And I'm thinking I might, I think I might have found your cat. Describe this cat. Black, a little reserved, chatty. That sounds like her. My little demon. Did you hear the podcast? Yeah, Loretta's one of my students. Lucky you. I'm so glad we found each other. I'm in the middle of an event right now, but can we talk later so I can get the little guy back to you? For sure, thanks. I've been missing my muse. Oh, and by the way, appreciate you posting those photos on Crosstalk. There are many photogenic cats in the world and mine is the most photogenic of them all okay so we got two whole interactions with the cat look at that perfectly intact chimney Ooh. Uh, okay. Can I find another chimney? Can I see drink? Maybe. Sophie that everything's ready. Maybe Amanda. She better be making a fortune in tips. Where are the gingerbread chimneys? Can't I just grab one from here? Look at that perfectly intact chimney. Um, find a chimney for Moses. Okay, where would one find a chimney? Well, not here apparently. Maybe we should talk to Safi. talking to Ven. I bet she won him over. Yeah, gingerbread house. Can I borrow Zoffy for a sec? What's up? So, other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Oh, is he? Yeah, but his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? Mm. He's coping. My powers have been blowing his mind, but he misses you. Wish I could help him somehow. 
You can help with a chimney. Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. S L F N M M C. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Voila. Guess who it's from. It's for real from the other side, from Safi. Yep. Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Right. Oh, man. He can't talk to her. I guess it's time for the big reveal. Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board too. Damn. <laughs> Hope it's not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. The guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. Ah. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. That is how we get outside. What is she doing? Is that Safi? Yep. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up. Safi, out on the patio. I'm so sorry about the broken glass, Max. Please don't let Amanda ban me for life from the snapping turtle. Max, please don't tell anyone I broke Olga. She's ex she's so expensive, and I already have student loans. All good, Reggie. I'm no snitch. How are you the coolest teacher here? Probably because I'm not officially a teacher. Okay. Exit to pet you. Oh, wow, it's dark here. So, uh, just a few teeny tiny questions. Sunk! <laughs> Drink up, baby! How are you so good at this? Where I grew up, there was nothing to do but drink and set shit on fire. Do strip poker next? You're a menace to society. Ah. First break. You never showed for our Krampus session earlier. Okay. This cult is sacrificing villagers. Dude, check the group text. The thieves hit his apartment. Dude, check the group text. Doc Roast. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Lucas Colmenero is a notoriously difficult player. Uncanny how much Safi looks like Loretta here. Whose what got stolen? Loretta did a podcast about a stolen cat? I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? You don't have to be good to be successful. Just persistent. Yes. Talent and persistence are what led to my success. Okay. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? <laughs> Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. For a moment there, it almost seemed like you were trying to insult me. No, of course not. Well, anyway. Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Loretta looks up to you. All the students do. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Okay. What does he have in his pocket? A gun. Oh, shit. RC. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me, Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. Uh, uh, nice commentary. And today is actually November 5th while I'm recording this, so... Here we go! Showtime! Welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmenero. Fair warning, he's going to say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beast Than These. Wait. 
That's not right. Uh, who? What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. At least someone remembers this is a roast. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft? Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. How did he get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about? Try me. All right. All right. Let's rein this in. Oh, boy. <clears throat> he has something on Vim. To end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> he has something Continue. on Vin. Please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horse shit, Coleman Arrow. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen. Trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal Conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen. Hmm. We've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the Again, future, I get the feeling we're missing some music. Channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? And this wow. is not at all going the Sorry way we that, planned folks. it. I knew this would fucking happen. Well, what are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fast up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? 
Are what? you serious right now? Right. If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You can do this. Fuck. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? I think there should be music in this scene. You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. Zafi has the gun on her. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Safi here doesn't understand is it... It wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take... Uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit. But then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. Right? It worked? Sort of. You're right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! <laughs> hey! We need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? Yeah, that I'll is what get, what's got with me worried. Me. I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. No, it cannot. I should let other Moses know how it went. All right, new journal entry. Uh, they say Krampus eats naughty kids, but I hear that what Krampus is hungriest for are lit professors. Especially ones who have plagiarized their students. It's like walking into a time warp here. It's easy to forget it's closer to Christmas morning than Hallow's Eve. Not like I have much time to sit and enjoy the festivities. You'd love this. Heists and hijinks is our old song. I'm playing it with someone new now. Hope you don't mind. Not like you have much of a choice. Is that a Krampus? Making out with Santa Claus? Wow. Hey, do you think Rick... And a crosstalk post as well. Guess my emerging concerns about Lucas were proven correct.
I'm sorry, this truth about Lucas has me feeling some type of way. If this is who Kaladin says is worthy of uplifting. But, Amanda! That must have been hard for Amanda to watch. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. I don't want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Could you maybe give me some time? I know what I want. And I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. Because you're so cute. Hmm. Thanks, Amanda. Okay. She finally did right by Maya. That worked out better than I expected. Safi was phenomenal. I'm proud of her. Didn't feel so great what Lucas said to me, though. It meant a lot to Safi that you came forward. Yeah? Thanks, Max. Hmm. All right. Vin, what did he say to you, my man? So close, Vin. So close. So, what happened? Lucas. Reminded me that we're not the only ones who can make threats. It's not important. Well, we got him in the end, so no harm done, I guess. Poor Safi. I'm worried. She's around here somewhere. You remember that cow skull thing? I wasn't covering up for Gwen. Just what? I'd love it if you said what you mean. Just keep an eye on Safi tonight, okay? Fine. See you around, Ben. Alright, that's weird. Safi's gingerbread house. Local hero and organ donor. See, Diamond? Us adults are just as confused and... That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. Sounds great. Moses trusted us, all right. Didn't question a single thing. Wait, I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him hanging. Now we can talk to everybody except Moses. True team effort. Man, it is depressing on this timeline. Whoa. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. My powers didn't backfire. No one was killed by their ghostly selves. What matters most is Maya will finally get the recognition she deserves. And maybe Safi will move on. The way she smiled at me when she came off that stage tonight. 
I'll never forget that. Tonight was a win, but it was a lot. It's nice to have a moment to breathe. I think that's it. Okay. Moses got to make one last house with Sophie after all. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Exhausted, I'm sure. It took a lot of courage, what she did. You should get back. She'll need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Meet up with Living World Moses. What a surprise. Moses trusted us, all right. Didn't question us. Whoa, that made my entire year. Mine too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Safi? Where's Safi? Sophie wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? What's wrong? My head, it's... It's it was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe you! Believe I can't you. do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to me. me. You lied, you lied to me. me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 Ooh, that was freaky. I had ju I just got goosebumps from that. That's some real horror stuff. This reminds me of episode number one. And again, audio is so loud. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. What the hell? Is everybody... Oh, wow, the storm is back. I really need to find Sophie. I need to make a screenshot of that. Professor Meha? Professor Meha? Mia. It's happening to her too. Lying to her face. Rati? It's Max. It's going to be okay. Oh my god. That's. That's Sophie talking. Oh no, 
It's getting worse. People's headaches are getting worse. Okay. Phone guy. Does Safi know this is happening? Can you hear me? Mom. I said Why do That won't be any help right now. Mom? Safi's with Yasmin. Oh shit. All right. People's um, headaches are getting worse. Find Safi. Where would we look for Safi? Used to come up here and look down at the school. What is she doing? What does this mean? Up there, and look down at the school. Down, isn't it? She where? is probably is at the light, you not know? at the lighthouse. <laughs> this reminds me of. No, never mind. I have been playing some Dragon Age Safi, with Elgard wait as well. Me. These last couple of days, and in that game, the lighthouse is your home base. So that was why I was like, she's at the lighthouse, she's at home base, but she's probably at the overlook, right? Up there. I have to hurry. Get to Safi. You did nothing. Only terrible choices. You won't even admit it. Since my life shielding you from harm. You have no idea. Um, North Quad Pergola. I guess we missed that one as well. Yeah. What you did is unforgivable. Almost there. Hold on, both of you. Safia, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Safi, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Safi, listen to me. Something's happening to your powers. You're losing control. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I experienced. Right? Sophie, remember what I told you about Arcadia Bay? About the storm? It's happening again. If we don't do something, the whole town's gonna be destroyed. And you don't want that on you. Trust me. Max, she kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me! Happy oh. tea. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. Who the fuck do you think you are? 
I'm your mother. Too much I blow? You will understand. Shut up! I've done everything for you. Shut up! Okay. Um... I feel like rushing her will get us killed. Talking her down will get her mother killed. Not a good choice either way. So I'm going to say talk her down. Sophie, show your mom you never needed her help. This isn't you, Sophie. Was me. Oh, Sophia. This gun was the only choice I've ever really had. What's happening to you? Ah! Oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah, don't ah! no! you. Wait, what? This is the ending? Already? Uh, okay. Good Max hurt Safi. Yes, 18%. Wow, only 18%. Cool. Would, who should Safi turn into? Goes herself, 92%. Yeah, obviously. How to save living world? Yasmin talk Safi down, 79%. Peloton House, moment of reflection. Max did not reflect by the fireplace. I guess we missed that. Max did not see the to-do list on the fridge in both timelines. We did in one. Hmm, okay. Uh, Max asks Safi not to shapeshift into Amanda again. 49%. Okay, cool. And Max dislikes Safi ruining Lucas's bond with his son. Yeah. Max told Safi she's dead. Max helped Moses finish his gingerbread house. 95%. Cool. Uh, Max touched the Krampus figurine at the bar. 50-50. <laughs> cool. Uh, Max insulted Lucas. 49. Max booed. 58. Wow, that's so close together as well. Max spoke with both Moses's and others after the roast. And Max reflected after the Krampus party. 17%. Okay. Cool. Wow, that was a short episode. Wasn't it? Maybe it wasn't. I'm not quite sure. I, I stopped a couple of times during the recording to get something to drink or to eat. But anyway, yeah. Um, very good episode. Reminded me again of the first Life is Strange. Uh, where in episode 4, reality kind of breaks. And you have to navigate your way back. But this time it is breaking for Safi and not for Max. I guess she took a picture from Safi uh, at the end and she touched Safi. So I think she is trying to uh, time travel to the picture with Safi with her. And I think what she is doing is she's time traveling into the picture where, uh, where Max has the gun. And that is why where the gun comes from as well, because Safi held on to the gun. 
Um, I thought maybe it would be the detective's gun because he let that go on that spot, but maybe not. Uh, still not sure why Lucas had a gun and what Lucas was planning with it. And still not sure what Lucas meant by his comments at the end and what he has on Vin. So, yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully that is something we will find out in the next episode. Yeah, we will find out in the next episode because the next episode is going to be the last, right? Yeah. Decoherence is going to be the last episode. Oh, we missed one picture. Damn it. Anyway, um, yeah, next time, finishing up this series. For now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye!